If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V-Chain family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin update. Go ahead down below, leave my full five comments if you do not mind. It would really help the channel and get this engagement up. Thank you so much, guys. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get this show started. And this is a very interesting article here from Yahoo Finance. Crypto may have hit the ultimate bottom months ago, analyst says. Now, Crypto's been bouncing up and down from 20,000 to I think about 18,000 for a while now. And like I had mentioned in previous episodes before, we're going to get a little bit of a reprieve about a month before the next Fed meeting. Okay, so I think that once the data comes in next month, we'll have a, a, a better view on what the crypto market's going to do. Um, we see in other bond markets like in uh, the um, England, Bank of England, reversing their course on, mon on monetary tightening and going into a quantitative easing phase. And we expect eventually that the Fed will do the same. Maybe not next month, maybe not this year, but soon. Okay, so there's been hints at that. 2022 has not been kind to crypto buyers, but the major swoon early in the year is a silver lining to prove to benefit risk investors. Following a widespread sell-off in Q1, crypto's total market capitalization dropped by more than 56% in, in the second quarter. However, since then, July, crypto's total market cap is up 7%. So we have seen some gains after the major loss. It seems that some of the panic has gone away and instead of panicking people are kind of disillusioned people are kind of, are not looking at crypto the interest in crypto is down and uh from what i have learned this is the best time to buy in my humble opinion just my opinion not financial advice we may have hit the ultimate bottom months ago because of cascading liquidations the market is is down only to true believers at this point most of the sellers seem to have left if you're already going to sell if you already did not have diamond hands, like, it's funny. I'm going to go on a little tangent here. Funny how in a bull run, everybody has diamond hands. That's, that's real funny. Go, you don't believe me? Go back 12 months ago and check my comments. Everybody's saying diamond hands this. I'm never selling that. And then uh, a few short months later, they are never to be heard from again. They've sold. Okay, so uh, all those diamond hands people. Uh, we'll welcome you back next bull run and let's see if you can actually have diamond hands next time So anyway, it goes on to say Terra Luna crash three Earths capital all that guys and rising interest rates a lot of things that are uh, pushing Asset prices down especially in crypto uh, Some of those things have been alleviated and now we just have the Fed <laughs> We have the Fed to get through and hopefully uh, they reverse course uh, sooner rather than later So let's go ahead and move on guys. What do you guys think? Let me know down below Do you think the bottom is in or do you think we're gonna go lower after more interest rate hikes? I'd love to hear you hear your opinion on this Next up guys yesterday. We did a full video on the V chain financial report So please go ahead and take a look at that V chains in a good position We'll talk a little bit about that, but we have Sonny Lou here saying just keep building Really looking forward to the next 12 to 18 months, and so am I. Can't wait to see what's in store. We got Proof of Authority 2.0 coming out. We got Walmart firing up on all cylinders with their tracking and tracing on the VeChain Thor blockchain. There's still so much more to come, still so much more to see. Um, and then we come over here, VeChain's most recent financial report. Go ahead and take a look at that video if you missed it. Stated they hold almost... A half a billion dollars in assets all right Bitcoin ETH V chain and stable coin reserves there's plenty to get through this crypto winter and the only reason why they only have a half a billion in assets is because of the depreciation 
in crypto price. VeChain has been around for a long time. It survived many bear markets and hopefully it will survive this one and will come out smelling like roses on the other end. I truly do believe that is possible and we are in the midst of that. So the next 12 to 18 months are going to be critical for VeChain. All we need to do is survive. All right, guys. And then, you know, who knows? Hype comes and it goes. Hype is like the weather, you know? Some seasons, the hype is low. Some season, the hype is ferocious. All we need is a catalyst, like the Bitcoin block having. Or, you know, a major Fed announcement. Or, you know, an Elon Musk announcement. Who knows? Who knows what will get the hype kicked into overdrive and people's irrational emotions will take over and pump the prices of crypto again. It can happen. It's already happened three times before. And the, uh, you know, history doesn't rhyme, it repeats. Wait, history doesn't repeat, it rhymes, sorry. Hopefully we can see this occur again, and I think we shall. So VeChain's in a great financial position to move forward. We're excited. They're not in any danger of, you know, going under or <laughs> stopping operations because they quote unquote ran out of money, you know, so this is definitely good to see. Let's go ahead and move on, guys. We got Alina Het here again. I'm not sponsored, but I do appreciate uh, the artwork here. Looks like they have another uh, drop coming out. Hey, VFAM, here I am opening the approaching 80s Halloween collection with the first item, Late Night TV Spooky Nights. I dig it. You know, I dig it. I think it has some music here, so we're not going to play it, but the artwork is still pretty cool. Shout out to them. You know, go ahead and follow them. Here is uh, on World of V. You can purchase this collection. Again, not sponsored at all. Um, but it is interesting. And uh, shout out to Alina. Continue to do good work. Um, here's some of their collections here. If you are interested in uh, purchasing some of this artwork not expensive at all okay so you know 700 v chain like this is pretty cool web damon i like this you know only a few v chain for for this amazing digital art so shout out to them continue that good work let's go ahead and move on and finally we got non-fungible news shout out to them go ahead and follow them on twitter they do a lot of uh nft interviews a lot of nft uh content that's what they specialize in is nft content so thank you to non-fungible news um why is salon in the top 10 i'm not fudding it does it to itself there's a number of other crypto projects that run every day seamlessly v chain for example no downtime since forever VeChain NFTs. So come on over when you're ready, Solana. Solana fans. So Solana is in the top 10 because of uh, VCs. That's it. Like, I don't really see any other way that or why it's still there. And I think it's going to start its slow descent down the, the chain once we start to see. Matter of fact, let's go here. Uh, 578 days left to the next Bitcoin block. I mean, we take a look. I think it's going to start to see a slow descent down, guys. I mean, all-time highs were insane. Fueled by VC money, hype, and speculation. And uh, <clears throat> getting all the way to $250, guys. I don't think it's going to go back there. All right. I just, I don't see it going back up to $259 anytime soon. And I think the slow descent will start for Solana. You know, there are other blockchains coming out that work. Cardano's next up. VeChain, still steady. VeChain's like the tortoise versus the hare. It just keeps going. It keeps moving. It keeps building. Solana's like the hare. It starts real fast and then it stops. It needs to take a break. It gets distracted. It free boots. <laughs> so, uh, the slow descent 
is is going to start here, guys, with Solana. I, I don't think I think you know by this time next year, you know, Solana is going to be in the fifties, and then maybe you know in the next few years it'll be out of the top one hundred. Um, just my opinion. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, and guess what, guys? In the future, I'm going to be wrong about something again. <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for uh, bearing with me here, and I will talk to you guys soon with the Cardano updates. Please leave my full five comments down below and type, tap that like, like button and that notification bell. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Thank you for tuning in and watching daily VeChain and Cardano videos on Satoshi Boomin channel. I want to say... A wonderful shout out to our wonderful Patreons here, Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farooz Den, Kyle Bocci, Crypto SVT.SI, Angel Topia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson, the second, Kragen, All Flair LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and Catherine Braun. Guys, let's keep chopping wood. Don't let your means be dreams. And thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support.